Brandeis, do you copy? Yes, I'm inside Ferguson's office. Great job. Now Proxima wants you to gather all the intel possible on Supercontinent Limited Executive Board. Look for a computer or a data terminal and connect yourself to it. Okay. Um. Uh. What's the matter? This guy doesn't own a computer. Maybe this? What do you see? A device I've never encountered before. I'm sending you some images. Holy shit, that <laughs> it's a landline telephone. I heard some underground groups still use them because they're so obsolete we hackers don't have the tools to hack them. And they're right. Don't panic. I'll look for a manual online and tell you how to proceed. We still got this. Okay, I'll get comfortable then. What's up everyone, my name is Slipperjabbin and welcome to Supercontinent Limited. Hold on one second. Um, so, it's a narrative adventure point and click game. Uh, it looks, it looks so cool. I love the art style on it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of um, Blade Runner, if you guys have seen that. Um, but yeah, uh, let's uh, let's jump into it. Am I using it right? According to the manual, yes. The top hole is the earphone. And you're supposed to speak through the lower one. Oh, please tell me he's talking upside down. So this is some sort of communication device. Exactly. You have to input an address using the number pad keys, or number keys, on your keyboard. When you enter nine digits, it'll automatically try to connect you with that address. Okay. Cool, is that it? Yeah, if you mistake a digit, you can reset the number by pressing backspace on your keyboard. So I'm gonna have to speak with some fellas. Luckily, I brought with me my Vomod, which I can use to impersonate any voice I have enough data. I brought Adrian Ferguson's voice installed on it. Why did you brought that? You mean why did you bring that? You know I like this game too much already, so I'm not gonna be a dick. I'm not gonna nitpick just yet. Just in case there are some voice protected vices, I'm a professional. I like to make my time worth your money. Proxima is very proud of you, Brandeis. So, what number do I call? I've checked the city's central phone system, and there's nothing online about Supercontinent Limited landline ad uh, addresses. What? More bad news? Tonight at 2 a.m., our historical landline network will be disconnected permanently due to lack of use. Thank you very much to the last. Romantics who have been sending love and hope through this old system, central phone system. That's in a few hours. So this is a one-shot operation against the clock, huh? No problem. Okay, I'll take a look around and see what I can get. Okay, so... Click on the trophy. Best CFO 2101. It looks heavy. This can really hurt some Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's kind of dark. Okay, that was a weird thought. Yeah, just just a tad. Um, what's this? It's a phone drive. Oh, awesome. But all the pages have been torn. Well, that's not helpful. Um, what's in this one? Looks like a note from Ferguson's secretary. It says your wife called. I hope you didn't forget the number again. Alright. 555-693-030. Okay, I, I can remember that, right? I'm not gonna fuck it up. <laughs> it may come in the end, dude. Okay. Five, five, five. Five, six, nine, oh, three, oh. Don't. Just don't. Six three six nine three oh three oh nope. Hello? Mm, that's Adrian Ferguson's voice. Looks like it's home. Ah, 
I'll use my um, simulator random voice as many times as necessary. Um, calling from Central Phone. Okay. Oh yeah, what's the matter? As you know, service will be discontinued in a few hours. We're offering a free of charge service to retrieve all the obsolete equipment. Who do I have to speak to to get a director of supercontinents installed landlines? Don't worry about it. We'll handle all. Uh, we'll handle our own equipment. Thank you. Wait, but click. Well, poop. Um, what's this? A calendar from Supercontinent Limited. Supercontinent Limited, uh, limited Technical Office for VIP clients. You know what? Hold hold on one minute. I'm I'm just I'm gonna have to write shit down. Okay, I'm back. I can dig this. Okay. Uh, shit. What number is that? Five 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 nine nine seven three three one. Five five five. Nine nine seven three three one. Uh, this is the most work I've had to do for a game, like ever. But it's awesome. <laughs> I'm actually really, really having fun. Okay, so uh, five 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 four six four oh three two. Called Supercontinent Limited Technical Office. Please clearly pronounce your client security word. Ah, uh, shh. <laughs> Please let it be this. <laughs> Admin one two three four. I'm sorry, that key doesn't exist in our database. Okay. Well, all right. Let's try out the the new number, or the one creepily painted on the side of the building. Five five five. Nine nine seven. Three three one. Well? Well what? Uh, I thought you were a different person. This line is out of order. Goodbye. Out of order? Click. Um. Yeah, I know it. Stop. So... Okay. This guy... A lot more interesting. Not that it wasn't before. Um, is there anything else I can cook on? Uh, what's this? Click to adopt ID. Oh, is that what they were talking about with the? Okay. Um, What if, what was if I if I call him with his own voice? Hello? Shit, that's Adrian Ferguson's voice. Is he home? Better hang up. Can't use his own voice with him. Aw, oh, that'd be fun. Just be like, I'm you from the future. Um, okay, so Let's try tech. Alright, so five 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 four six four. Yeah, okay. Five 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 four six four oh three two. Call it supercontinent. Ah, uh, okay. Well, supercontinent? No, okay. I was hoping it would be like a voice recognition thing. Alright, so we only have one other. So, five, 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 seven, three, three, one. You decided? Decided on what? Don't play fool, your wife is done for, Ferguson. Shit. No, wait. Get, get. Who are you? Come again? Are you in shock? Forgive me, but we executives have a hard time remembering non-executive people. <laughs> Burn! 
I'm Barbara, one of Supercontinent's enforcers. Barbara who? Listen, I don't care about your incompetence. Just do as I said or kiss your wife goodbye. Well, shit, that didn't help. I mean, sort of, but... Alright. Can I just call her back? Decided, decided on what? Okay, uh... What do you want? Said terms are non-negotiable. Postpone Operation CSJ. If a single cop dies tonight, your wife will die too. What does CSJ stand for? Enough games, Mr. Ferguson. You have until midnight. I need a lead! See, I'm starting to remember the numbers. Well, I don't know, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Why are you doing this? I swear to you, I'm loyal to Supercontinent's cause. In fact, I'm planning on supporting the cause even if you're after my head. But simply, I cannot let CSJ happen tonight. It has to be postponed. Postponed? So you want it to happen, just not tonight. Why is that? Okay. Uh, did you say postpone, not abort? Exactly. I'm all for Supercontinent's cause, but CSJ can't happen tonight. Why? I have family inside the police department. I want to make sure I can keep them safe before it all begins. But you won't listen. I'm sorry, but this is bigger than us. Alright, so... Uh, I need more time. You have until midnight. Um... Okay... Call him? Oh, okay, cool. Can you find out about Barbara? Any other useful data? She's supposed to be an enforcer at Supercontinent Limited. Okay, let me check. Take note. Barbara. Do I actually have to take note? I'm sure it's fine. Uh, Barbara Lang, 26, enforcer at Supercontinent Limited, as you said. She's been working there for three years, ascended quickly up the ranks. The police department has an extensive file on her, and. Wow. What? She's related to the Chief of Homicide Division. She's her daughter. And she's working for a criminal corporation, huh? In any case, look, if you can find some medical data on her, that way I'll be able to impersonate her with the bow mod on it. Gotcha. Transmitting data. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You know anything? Nope. I think, I think that's it. That'll be all. Back to work. Nice. Good luck. Okay, so I can impersonate her now. Um, Alright, let's, let's do that. Um, so I probably can't call... I think the only one I can call is Ferguson, so... Because calling her won't do anything. And I need a password for... So you decided? <sighs> Barbara. You know we've been planning CSJ for years. We can't simply let this go. Um, okay, I'm going to save that for right now. What does CSJ exactly consist of? Can't go over the details all over again, Barbara. It's our best chance of bringing down the oppressive power the police have been, pull have been putting all of us through since the city's new bureau lock. And CSJ doesn't mean every policeman will die tonight. I trust on people's judgment. The most likely to fall will be the corrupted ones. Your father's got nothing to fear. Okay, even if that's true, that her dad is... is clean? I still don't trust people enough. I mean... People right now don't really like police, and... That's a whole other thing I'm not going to get into, but... Yeah, I, I, you can't just let the people do whatever they want. Like, you can't have them deliver street justice. Um, sounds like uh, a bad idea. 
Especially if this criminal corporation wants it, then that's definitely not a good thing. On oh, a detailed profile of a company's executives. Yeah. Shit, Barbara, I can't agree to that, even if my wife's on the line. If I sell a company like that, we all dead? Me, my wife, you, your dad? Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, tell me your password. I'll spare your wife. My password, you say? Yes, the one for Supercontinent's technical office for VIP clients. But that's not an actual... I know. But if you won't save my father's life... Save, not safe. At least give me a chance of doing so. Your wife will get to live, and I'll make it look like I broke into your office and stole your password. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... What, your wife's life is not even worth a little shame on you for accidentally leaking a password? Alright, you win. The password is Pangea. Pangea, huh? How romantic. That's uh, Pangea? I think, anyways. Your wife will be delivered safely to your home tomorrow morning. I also re recommend you to unplug this line from the network. Why? I don't want you plotting with your colleagues. I'll be calling every now and then to check your phone. It's still, or it's still online. If I hear a single tone, your wife is dead. Are we clear? Understood. Have a good night. Okay, so... That one's disconnected now. Um, so, okay, now I can... Should probably switch back to him. Alright, so. Uh, 555 I'm gonna talk, call the tech office, because I have a password now. You've called Supercontinent Limited Technical Office. Please clearly pronounce your client's security word. Pangea? Possibly? That's clearly right. <laughs> Connecting with Supercontinent CTO office. Please wait. I'm waiting. You want to pick up, dude? No. Oh, connected. Francis speaking. Who's this? Hey, Francis. Uh, how's CSJ coming along? On track, I guess. Why? Are you nervous? Life. I said no. Who came up with the name, by the way? The boss, probably, but hey, can't say it isn't cool. Uh, so. It's nice, yeah, but why simple? Shit, Adrian, hope you're not trying to change it again. We're on the verge of consummating the plan. Yeah, but still, simple? Listen, it's simple because it puts the power back where it belongs, on the people. Uh, it's nice in thought, but... That's not how it's going to work. That's just anarchy. The city's bureau lock was the straw that broke the camel back, camel's back. The obnoxious current justice system is just a device to control us. The poor are just devoured by it, and the powerful not only aren't affected by it, it protects them. For fuck's sake, nowadays you can even pay to postpone the date of the trial. You know we've been trying to help the mid-low class with supercontinent's economic muscle. There's just not enough money to pay the way out of the system for everybody. That's why tonight we're going to break it. The civil unrest is at the verge of a riot outburst. We're just going to light the fuse so we can finally bring down the enforcers of this unjust system, the police. Uh, I can't wait to witness the night trials tonight. People executing sentences based on the civil penalty manifesto we all defined for years in the deep web. Well, I'm all for it, but I gotta say, it doesn't sound all that democratic. Having almost 30% of the city's population take part in it sounds representative enough for me. Yeah, you're right, Francis. No! No, you're not. I don't know what kind of world this is, but... Oh, you give it the CEO's number. You make a consultation about tonight's operation. You know Radica doesn't own a landline. Don't be hasty, Adrian. She'll call you after we detonate the bombs. Oh, right. <laughs> right! The bombs. One of the bombs going off. 
I believe Clyde is managing that. Alright, sorry. Do you have his number at hand? Don't you have it on your phone book? No, I'm very sorry. I destroyed it just to be sure. You know, being the last knight for the landline. Oh, fuck. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how you went all paranoid on the last meeting and tore all the pages from it. Pretty dramatic. Cut it, Francis. Haha. <laughs> sorry, man. Clyde's number... Five, 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 six, seven, seven, six, two, three. It's nice they're all five, five, five numbers. Thank you. Uh, better get back to work. Take care. Alright, so. Five, 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 six, seven, seven, six, two, three. Hey. Hi, Clyde. I'm Adrian. <laughs> Hi, Clyde! About those bombs. When are you going to detonate them? You tell me. We've been waiting for you to send this code for ages. What happened to your home line? Weren't you supposed to be there? It broke down. Came to the office as soon as I could when I found out. Okay, give me the codes. Oh, shit. Very, very sorry. I completely forgot about them. I, I know that he doesn't know them, but you've been playing this for years and you don't know the codes. Like, that's that's not suspicious at all. Are you fucking kidding me? We're in the middle of shitstorm here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm having a terrible night. My wife has been kidnapped. Are you serious? Man, I don't want to sound insensitive. Pay the ransom or whatever, but we need the fucking codes. Shit, Clyde, you are heartless. Okay, where are the codes supposed to be? <laughs> I swear I'm gonna punch you in the face when this is over. The codes are on your phone safe lock in your office. And how do I access it? Listen, Adrian, I can't have you losing your mind here. Not tonight. And put your fucking code in the very in the very phone you're using to speak with me. And what was the code? I cannot fucking believe it, Adrian. How should I know? Fuck! Okay, okay, calm down. I'll ask Francis and see. I'm gonna pay for this. Call me as soon as you get the fucking codes. Uh, man, you are just... You are a mess tonight, man. Alright. Uh, so... Ferguson... Do, do, do. So... Ha, didn't even have to look at my cheat sheet that time. Aren't speaking, who's this? Hey, Francis. Uh, I need access to my phone safe lock. Sure, just input the code on your phone. See, the thing is, I forgot the code, and I need to get to the detonation codes. Damn it, Adrian, what's wrong with you tonight? I'm sorry. The thing is, I don't have the code either. But I do have the security question I made you record to retreat it. Uh, tr uh, retrieve it? Who's being extra cautious now, huh, Adrian? All right, all right, Francis. You were right. What was the question then? Here we go. The year of the first Rio Olympics, followed by my wife's date of birth. And when was your wife born? Not my wife, yours, dumbass. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. You got to then? Yes, thank you. Okay, so... How... Wait, what if, what if I called... Barbara. Uh, Alright. 555-997-331. Right? Because... Anyway, good news. I almost have it sorted out. Francis and the rest are almost convinced. No, they're not. Oh, right, lying. <laughs> right, we are lying now. But before proceeding any further, I want to make sure that this is all worthy. Is my wife okay? As long as you meet your end of the deal, yes. I need to be sure. Can I ask her something? What is it? I want her to tell me her birth date. She'll know. Her birth date? Please, this is important. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, give me a sec. 2nd of November. Alright, so... 2, 11, 20, 75? 
Alright, thanks, bye. Okay, so... Rio Olympics were this year, so 2016. And then... 2, 11, 20, 70... Okay, so that didn't work. Um, sixteen, two, eleven, twenty, seventy five. No, okay, wait. I, okay, so it's got to be twenty sixteen. Two eleven seventy five. Right? Ha! <laughs> Got it. Okay, so it's just that. Hmm. Okay. Zero 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 five 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 oh eight zero. So I can set up a bomb for calling this number, huh? Um, is that it? Wait, can I call him? You need anything? Okay, can you find on Clyde? Supercontinent Limited Clyde. I don't need to do a search for that, he's pretty famous. Oh yeah? I don't have a pleasure. Clyde Dumacher, 45, enforcer, some sort of hack of all trades, hitman, transporter, cleaner, and uh, demolitions expert. Sounds like a good friend to count with. Yeah, but be careful with them. It's really short-tempered. I could tell. <laughs> gotcha. What about the Velma data? I'm sorry, Clyde is a ghost for the system. He doesn't have any medical records to hack. You have to do without impersonating him. Mm, okay, thank you. You know anything? Alright, that's it. Nice, good luck. Okay. Uh... Wait. Can I... Okay, I'm gonna try calling people as her because I, I feel like calling to blow up the bomb would be a, a bad thing to do. Um, so Francis speaking. Who's this? Hello, Francis. Hey Barbara, any of those Centuro assholes? Doesn't know about Barbara ca uh, kidnapping Adrian's wife. Better keep it that way until I need to kick the horn, says. Centaro, well I gotta admit, they're giving me a hard time. Don't give up, if you manage to plant the neural disruptor I gave you. Closer than 100 meters of the hideout will own them. But does it have to be tonight? What about CSJ? Other enforcer... So are there only two enforcers? Other Enforcer is dealing with that. You focus on those hackers. They'll endanger CSJ if we let them. What about Proxima? Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing you a favor, trust me. Those Proxima losers have too many ties with uh, too many ties with the police. They'll be busy after the bombs go off. Yeah, about those bombs. Listen, Barbara, with all due respect, go back to work. But don't call me until you finished your assignment. Alright. Uh, let's call Clyde. Five, five, six, seven, seven, six, two, three. Hey, how's CSJ going? Fucking wrong. Brian was killed. Can't be. How? Listen, I'm expecting important calls. Focus on your mission. Goodbye. And I call him and be like, hey, buddy. So, uh, it's just like there's so many different things to do. Uh, six, seven, seven, six, two, three. Hey, hey, Clyde, I'm Adrian. I heard Brian died. You okay? Listen, fucking Detective Yoshida is hunting us down. Detective Yoshida? Yeah, the head of the city's police homicide division. Man's a fucking psycho. 
So isn't that Barbara's dad? He's gone vigilante and is tracking us down with optical camo and laser guns. And yeah, he's gunned down Brian. Brian the Enforcer? Leap of faith here. Yeah, Brian fucking Enforcer Zack. Listen, I want to do us all a favor. Seeing this night is getting more dangerous than we expected. Give me your data and Brian's data so I can try to pull off a bureaucracy trick. Get you a life's insurance for your families and the company. You serious? Cool down and acknowledge this is for the best in this case. That in case something happens, it's also covering injury so you don't die if you may reap some juice benefits. Think of Brian's family too. Full names, age, and medical DBID. Alright, Clyde Dumecker, 45, but I don't have a DBID. Okay, sorry about the medical DBID thing. Brian Sizak, 25, don't know his medical DBID. Alright, see what I can do. Get back to you as soon as I get an update on the mission. You better, Adrian. Alright, good luck. Um, can I... Okay, so Brian's died. Nobody, nobody, Francis. What happens if I call is him? Okay, so... Alright, let's try Clyde first. Hey. Good night, sir. I'm calling from... I don't know you. Okay. <laughs> what if I call... Alright. 555... 464... 032. I'm gonna try calling Francis. Francis speaking. Who's this? Good night. I... I'm calling from the city's central phone system. Good night. How may, I, how may I help you? Good night, sir. As you know, all services will be discontinued tonight. That's right. I'm aware. Are you the owner of this line? Affirmative. I call you to confirm that you're aware of the 900,000 credits fine applied to this landline owners who haven't properly canceled their accounts. What? And you're telling me this now, you bloodsuckers? Piece of shit. You already charged us enough for this obsolete communication system. Calm down, sir. I'm calling you to check if you're willing to fill a voice form to properly cancel the line, and of course, avoid the fine. You bet. What do I need to do? It's easy. Just answer a few questions, fill out the form with personal data, and that'll be all. For God's sake. Alright, go ahead. Full name? Francis Cockinet. Age? 30 years old. I found him. I'm updating the, the database. Company? Supercontinent no Limited. Limited. Full name of the CEO of the company. Uh, wait, why do you need all this data? I may have pushed it a bit too much. Time to bail. Don't worry, sir. I'll look it up. Thanks for your cooperation. Wait! Click. Sneaky. Alright, cool. Um, is that it? If I call him. Anything? Nope, that's it. Okay. Can I edit this out? Oh, okay, uh... <laughs> Time to set off a bomb! Alright, zero, 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 uh, five, 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 oh, wait, uh... Satellite pulse bomb launcher active. Insert coordinates for deployment. Shit, There's some serious technology we're talking, uh, World War Three banned stuff here. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, Brandeis. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, beauty. You truly are a professional, but Proxima only hired you to get the access code to this little toy. Freelancer's life really sucks, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You know this business. No hard feelings. It's all yours, Detective Yoshida. Keep him in check while I download all the useful data from his brain drive with my neural disruptor. Fuck me if I don't hate neural disruptors. They're just so unethical. So, how long were you there? It's a good thing I was wearing pants. Yay? I don't know. Um. 
So what do I do? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshida! I'm sorry, Vega. You know how freelancer's life works. Click. Call Centro. Connection established. Good night. As requested, I discovered who is the Proxima Mole inside the city police. You know where to wire the funds. As for Supercontinent Limited Orbital Bomber, it'll cost you an extra. Ah, oh, that was cool! That was cool! I wish it was a little bit longer. Uh, I mean, video's long enough as it is. But, that was cool! Oh! Hey, is there... No? Okay. So, yeah, that's that's the end of it. Um, that was really cool. Um, yeah, the, the art style, the sounds, the music... Um, that was interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, if you if you feel like playing it, then I will leave a link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, whatever. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.